Murphy's Law is at its finest here. Um, as you saw in the other video, I thought I had everything going, um, but it didn't break the siphon at the end. The funny thing is, I had been fighting that issue for about 30, 30, 45 minutes. I thought I had it solved. In fact, I ran it through twice. It did exactly what it was supposed to. Started the siphon, ended this, broke the siphon at the end. So I grabbed the camera and started filming, and what do you know, of course, it doesn't break the siphon at the end like it's supposed to. Um, now, there's possibly two issues, I think. Um, well, three, but I had been playing with one. One, the slits here uh, weren't big enough, and it wasn't allowing enough air to draw. Uh, that was the issue I had at first, and uh, I thought I had that solved, and that, you know, I, I made them bigger and bigger, and thought that fixed it. Um, next issue might be that my output for my pump might just be too much. I might need to dial my pump back a little bit. It might just be pumping just enough to not allow the water level to drop low enough. That's a possibility. The third is um, something else is that my single outlet that I had here, as you saw in the last video, um, was causing a whirlpool effect. And I wonder if that whirlpool effect might have uh, caused some problems. So I went ahead and uh, added my uh, T and put these two other hoses here. That should eliminate the whirlpool effect. We're going to try that one first and see what happens.